Okay, let me go ahead and tell you what a droplet is first. A droplet is a small application that applies an action to one or more images that you drag onto the droplet icon. Okay, now this can be in Photoshop or Image Ready. You can make a droplet in both programs. And you can save this droplet on your desktop or anywhere on your hard drive, okay? Let me go ahead and show you how this works. You can see I've created my own droplet right here and placed it on my desktop. Now that droplet I created, I, I named it black and white. That is because any images I drag onto that droplet, it, it's, gonna, it's gonna convert those images to black and white. Then after it does that, it's going, to ch it's going to transfer the changed images into a new folder. And I've called that folder New Images, okay? So let me show you how this works. I'm gonna go ahead and open up a folder of images that I have here on my desktop. And I'm gonna select, I'm not gonna select all the images, I'm just gonna select, uh, let's see, four. Four of them right here. And then I'm gonna click on one of them and drag them right to the droplet, okay? And then I'm gonna release the mouse. And Photoshop will apply the action that I've assigned to that droplet to each photo that I've dragged onto it. Look at this. So it opens up each photo in Photoshop, applies the action, and closes everything out. And check this out. I also told that droplet, after it finishes doing this, to put it in this new folder over here that I call New Images. So if I double click on this folder, look what we find. Here are all the images that I dragged onto the droplet but they all look black and white because I've applied the action black and white to those photos. So you can see how this works, okay? So let me show you how to create your own droplet in Photoshop. Go ahead and open up Photoshop and then come right up here to File, come right down here to Automate and select Create Droplet right here. And the Create Droplet options will all come up on the screen. The first option here is where you set where you wanna save the droplet. Go ahead and click on that, browse to the destination on your hard drive where you wanna save the droplet, okay? And then here you set the action, okay? What you want that droplet to apply to the images that you drag onto it. And here's some more options here. Now if you want some more in-depth uh, explanation to what a lot of these options mean, please see the batch processing video on the CD-ROM. Okay, right down here it says destination. Here's where we select the destination folder. Well, remember when all my images went into my new images folder right here? Well, that is because I just selected where I want and what folder I want those images to go in by just selecting folder for the destination and clicking on choose and choosing the folder on my hard drive where I want any images I drag to the droplet to go, okay? File naming, I'll come down here and adjust my file naming. When I'm all set, all I have to do is come up here and click okay. And as soon as I do that, a little droplet will be made right on my hard drive, okay? Wherever I, wherever I told that droplet or wherever I told Photoshop to save that droplet is where it's gonna be, okay? So that's really cool. Now, we don't always use droplets a lot, but you know what? They come in really handy when the right job comes along.